Hey y'all, it's Zach, the legal tech advisor here at Lawyerist. Today I'd like to talk to you about e-payments through Practice Panther. Recently, I sat down with Zach Herman and he walked me through Panther payments and all the new features that Practice Panther has in that area. Have a look and see what you think. Hi, I'm Zach. I am a payment specialist here for Practice Panther. So my job is to help current customers either sign up for the online payment solution that we offer Panther Payments, um, if they're not using any online payment processor currently, or try to get them to switch over from any third-party processor that they're currently working with and get them to use the in-house solution, Panther gotcha. Payments. Gotcha. Well, Zach, thanks for showing me around here a little bit. And uh, I imagine you you know a good deal about this product. That uh, How long has Panther Payments been around with you guys? Sure. So Panther Payments launched September 2020. Okay. Um, at the time, we had a few reps um, that were on customer success as well, selling Panther payments. Um, and we recognized that it was a huge area of opportunity to add another revenue stream for the business. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so I was brought on as the first payment sales rep um, in May of 2021. And we haven't looked back since. We're starting to grow that team out uh, currently. Uh, we've seen a lot of success and heard a lot of great feedback from our customers mm -hmm. about Panther payments. And we've recognized that, you know, this is really the next step for us here. Great. Great. Awesome. Well, uh, if we can, let's, let's look under the hood and see what, what people will see when they, um, when they look at Panther payments. Definitely. So currently as it stands, if you were to use practice Panther right now and you're not using Panther payments, you're using another third party processor. There's a couple different ways to collect payments online. So you can either send out a payment request, mm -hmm. you can start a payment plan, or you can collect a payment on your invoice. Um, so Panther Payments does all of that and allows you to put different payment links or payment requests in different areas of your sales funnel, of your law firm sales funnel, mm -hmm. just to make payments more visible and have it be an easier conversation. And we've found that firms that are using some sort of online payment process and collect invoices 20% faster than they would waiting through physical check. And right. that just makes sense with given the shift of, of the business, everything going digital, everything's on your phone or on your laptop. So Panther Payments now allows you to manage not only your case, your clients, your documents, but now your payment aspects of your business as well. So let's go ahead and talk about the differences between Panther Payments and some other mm -hmm. processors that you can have on Practice Panther. So the first piece that's really important uh, that uh, separates us here is this one link feature. This allows you to create a payment link that you can set in multiple channels, like I was just referring to. Mm -hmm. So you'll see you can have multiple templates and customers that I work with will have payment links for prospective clients, active mm -hmm. clients, uh, maybe clients that are on a certain uh, practice type or certain type of billing, mm -hmm. a trust payment link. You know, these are just a couple of examples of firms that, that, that have told me how they're using the one link feature. Okay. So what's awesome is you can easily create this template and you see you have multiple templates within practice panther you can mm -hmm. easily create this template within your account and copy it and have it ready to go and sent out to your customer so just a quick walkthrough on some of the customization you have here you can give it a name mm -hmm. choose what user in your firm is assigned to this payment once it's received okay. um, specify what bank account you want it going into and you'll see this is another cool feature too. It makes it easier for your customers. You can set a blank template here. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to have any specific amount uh, and your customer can go in and pay whatever that is they're, they're able to pay at that current time. Or mm -hmm. you can set it to be a preset amount. So you have that, that ability there. And you can add personalized messages there just to, to fit the feel of your brand, of your firm, mm -hmm. um, if need be, and choose specific layouts. Okay. But from what your customer will see, what the end client will see, if we just preview this template, is a nice clean screen that allows them to go ahead and just enter in the information uh, that mm -hmm. they need to. Everything is tied to the email address for your customer. Okay. So 
So if it's a if it's a current client or existing client going in right now and, and, and receiving this link and making the payment, they'll put in their, their email address and that will get routed to the email that you have on file for your okay. contact. Yeah. Um, but another cool feature here as well is, you know, we mentioned that if this is going to prospective clients, for example, and they're not a contact in your Practice Panther account, you can send this one link template, this one link to your client, they mm-hmm. fill out the, to the prospective client, they fill out the information and then they're automatically created as a contact in your Practice Panther account with a certain tag. So this is a great way to manage new business, prospective business versus recurring business and, right, and get right. you a sense that way. And I can see doing a, a consultation with a flat fee um, with one of those templates pretty easily. Yeah, absolutely. So um, this is another great way to do that because you don't even have to create an invoice, for right. example, with, to, to, dedicated to this, to this template. Right. So a lot of customers that I do work with will tell me they'll use this feature for those, you know, initial retainer fees or mm-hmm. those consultation fees, um, whatever the case may be. If they're dealing with a prospective client, it's not in Practice Panther, you know, we've made the process, you know, very automated. Um, right. They just go in, fill in this information, and then payment is stored in their contact that's newly created, and then you can eventually bill for it uh, moving forward. Okay, great. Um, so this is kind of the overarching piece, one link. We're, re- we're really happy with how one link has been performing because mm-hmm. one link now ties every feature really together, um, that we have in practice Panther two payments. Cause gotcha. now with one link, you'll see when we go back into, um, the one link settings where we go and create those one link templates, mm-hmm. super easy to just copy these and paste them in those channels that we were discussing. So another added advantage is the automation with Panther payments, right? Mm -hmm. If you're using a third party, if you're using a third party processor and you have a payment link that's on your website or in your email signature, not powered by Practice Panther, and you Mm -hmm. receive that payment in the third party processor, it's not gonna get posted into Practice Panther, right? You'll have to manually You'll have to manually put that payment, record that payment into your Practice Panther account. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you have a one link in your email signature on an e-signature document mm-hmm. in some sort of on your intake form, um, mm-hmm. in a text message, on your website, all powered by Panther payments, you're already using Practice Panther to manage your firm. Mm-hmm. You know, why have multiple softwares to, to, to run your business, you run the risk of missing a payment, which is crucial. You know, we, we need to get right. paid to, to, to do our work. So um, if you're already investing in practice, Panther, the switch over to Panther payments is, is a no brainer just because of that automation that I mentioned. Right. right. Um, so let's kind of, let's, you know, we can, we, I know we've, you've discussed the e-signature feature with us, mm-hmm. um, but you can see uh, as simple as, as can be, you copy, you copy the link. Sorry about that. I shouldn't be my Slack. You copy the link that you generate in, in, in practice Panther just by creating that template. Mm-hmm. And then this is just, a, I, I don't normally get too technical um, with my customers because they don't, you know, they don't really care. They just hope it works. Right. Um, right. But it's, it's really just a line of HTML code that you can copy and then you can paste it on your website. You can embed it in your email signature okay. and it's all going to work uh, as one software. The payment will get routed through those channels, automatically apply and post in your Practice Panther account. Fantastic. Fantastic. And, and I assume that it's uh, you can take credit cards, ACH and debit cards through, through uh, Panther Pay? Yeah, that's correct. So we can take all types of credit cards, debit cards, and we do e-check and ACH as well. Okay. Um, so in, in showing you this here, you know, those are just some of the options that you had um, to place these payment links on your website in your email signature, but something we've just rolled out um, in the in the intake templates as well. But something we just rolled out um, and gives you the ability to do is, is text messaging too. And text messaging, um, mm-hmm. you know, we're already on our smartphone all the time. You can copy right. these payment links or even now invoices and text them to your mm-hmm. client. Um, so let's just walk through that quickly. Okay. Uh, so 
if I were, for example, I wanted to text the payment link to my, to my customer, whether this be for that initial um, consultation or uh, you're looking for a retainer payment to begin work, mm -hmm. we'll go into our one link template, figure out which one we want to um, send over to the client, which one's applicable. Mm -hmm. And we'll just go and generate a new text. So it will take us to this link conversation page where we'll select our contact that we're sending this to. Let's just use myself as an example. Mm -hmm. um, if we have matters here, multiple matters, um, you can decipher which matter you want it going into. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we've been using the example of this is just a prospective client or they don't have a matter yet. We still need to, they still need to retain us. Right. Um, you know, you don't have to have a matter selected. It'll just go into their overarching contact page. Okay. But specifically, let's just say we're going into the matter and then we put in their cell phone number. Um, so we'll go ahead and start that conversation. And then remember, we just copied that link in our settings, the payment link for that one link template. Mm -hmm. So all we have to do is once this goes and uh, gets created, you know, I sent a test out earlier today just to go through a run through uh, with mm -hmm. another client, but you know, we can just go right in, paste it and give them instruction. There will be instruction on the template as well. Once they click it and open it, um, letting them know exactly what, what this is for. Okay. Um, so that's just a specific payment, right? Yeah. A payment request. If you already have an invoice created, we can send invoices as well through text message means. So okay. um, you'll see these options here. Um, yeah. You can add those emojis, you can add a file, but you know, if we have an invoice, um, we can select the existing invoices under this contact's name. We see here that there's one for a thousand dollars and one for $22. Let's just say we want to send that mm -hmm. the thousand dollar one to them. You know, you very easily can text this to the client. And then what they see on their end this is just a preview. There will be a giant pay now button for your end client that mm -hmm. appears uh, right here. If I just go to uh, print and preview here, this is exactly what it's going to look like for your end client. You okay. see that pay yeah. now button that yeah. links them right to make that payment. Their balance, their their payment method is already stored on practice Panther. If not, again, you just send them that one link template and they fill out that, all that information and it's created for them. Gotcha. Um, so we, we really think that, that Panther payments is the next step in maximizing your practice Panther account. Mm -hmm. um, just based on what we've spoken about, Panther payments kind of ties all of the features, the case management features you have in practice Panther together through mm -hmm. payments. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it, it's super important um, to be on top of your, of your payment strategy and to have one solution working for you rather right. than relying on multiple softwares to run your business. Right, right. Fantastic. Well, Zach, um, thanks for, for showing us around here. And if people want to learn more about this, I imagine they can go to practicepanther.com. You guys have, have demos that you can do, and they can also sign up for a free trial at practicepanther.com as well, right? Yep, absolutely. Practicepanther.com, start a seven-day free trial, open up an account here, um, and we can discuss how our firm, uh, how we've been helping firms automate not only their case management, but their payment strategy as well. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, once again, thanks for being with me. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys in the, uh, in the near future as well. Yes, sir. Appreciate the time, Zach. Absolutely.